what's up guys you all know the vibe it's a girl Keila back with another one why right, people, people open a good no good me good you good yeah me think no good so anyways today i will be doing i will be talking about 10 toxic traits that i have when we need to quit do you have any toxic traits because i know i do that's not like a commercial but a single me know some as some toxic traits when me need to leave or some bad be call it bad be toxic anything you want to call it me have some me i go tell me some me need to quit so let's get right into the video guys let's go so number one one toxic thing when me need to stop do is thinking that i'm not good enough yeah maybe someone that can relate you ever just think you're not good enough like you're not good enough many of you stop think that because i am good enough okay if me not good enough for myself me go good enough for other people i'm gonna always you go always be a problem you go always tend to be a problem so i really need to stop thinking that i am not enough i am enough yeah i am enough you are enough number two loving people who don't deserve it Loving people who don't deserve it. I'm not saying enough to love one and all, no. but some people, but some people we really don't deserve our light. And even if we love them, we can't love them from a distance, and they're not really happy no. Yeah, some of them don't they not even feel no so we love them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Even when they not deserve it, we still have to love them. But love them for a distance. We need to stop love some people. Anyways, three cursing for no reason at all. You just get up every day, I cuss like you, hammer the man. Yeah, you need to stop it. I have a really bad habit. I love cursing. I'm addicted to cursing. You know, I'm just me, me addicted. Like, I have to cuss it. I don't cuss it. I don't feel good. And that's not good. So me really need to cut it out. So number four, checking my phone as soon as I wake up. As me wake, and me turn, and me phone, me they look perfect take up. No, I'm really need to stop. I'm not saying someone have the habit they too. As a wake your phone, no. As a wake if you pray, take up your Bible. You take up your phone to read your Bible. But that I want treat me. Me I really learn to stop. Because me on a journey when me I check out the bad habits them free for you. So that's one. Yeah, so that's a bad habit when you to stop for two. When you practice when you wake up many time you acknowledge God. Because I email we can live to see another day. You understand? So yeah. So number five. Trying to think change things that is out of my control. When I have no control over the situation. I have to go check, stop myself and change it. If I eat out of my control, what I have to do? I have kill myself. Sometimes I come like, hey, kill yourself. Like, hell, you can't do nothing. Leave it alone. In due times, it will happen. If we if solve, we go solve. So if I can't manage the big problem, then leave it to them. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I need to cut it out. So that's our five. Number six. I need to stop comparing myself. Stop comparing yourself to other people. If you have this little thing once in a while where you compare yourself to other people or you say, Oh, this is somebody or this with this for me or have this, have this, all oh, this, that, 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 that. Compare your life with other people's life or compare yourself with somebody else. Thinking you're not good enough. Just like what I'm saying, I'm other thing what I need to cut out. Like, we have the time, we girls are human. You, you girls, boy, everybody, big woman, big picnic. We all have the time when we compare ourselves with other people. Don't compare yourself to nobody at all. We are we. We are one individual. We come with our own life, well, package, well, everything. We need to stop with that. When time we do that, something that we look for ourselves. We don't value ourselves enough, that's why we compare ourselves with others. We don't need to. We don't need to do that. We need to stop. Uh, yeah. 
So, if you can agree with me, let me know because we know see some people now agree. Well, number seven. Lord Jesus, we struggle with this. Not letting go of the past. People, it's really hard. You know, so something's not easy to let go. But you have to, day by day, you have to try your best. If you learn, if you let it go and move on. But sometimes it's really, 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 really hard. For real, for real. But for real. Some things ever happened to you in the past. And when you never put your child, you move on, but you just stuck. I blame myself. I'm not even going in depth because I'm not get too emotional upon this thing. But I need to work on that. I need to learn to let go of the past. Because if I don't let go of certain things, then I'm going to be able to move on. You go always affect you. You go always take a toll upon your life if you don't learn. If you let go, let go and move on. Make God angry with the rest. And number eight, not forgiving yourself. And I struggle with this too because I've done some things in my life where I'm, where I'm not proud of. I am not proud of. And trying to move forward with my life, seeking God more and more every day. Even though you ask me, ask me forgiveness, I mean, no, so God forgive me. But it's so hard forgiving yourself. I know say God forgive me now, the man who God judge me, the who me forgive account to. God forgive me for what I do or whatever I've, I've done in my past. But I have a problem with letting go. As I said before, and I have a problem forgiving myself. But if you don't forgive yourself, I'm, I'm working on myself, you know. Um, but if you don't forgive yourself, you know, go move on, you go just talk and you go bother you, you go go in a depression and whatever. And it's just the truth. I feel like if you forgive yourself, because God forgive you. And you just have to work for yourself and forgive yourself. Let it go. Just like oh, we, we've been, you know, easy to forgive some people for what they do neither. But who is we if you know, to forgive others? Because God can't forgive you, or we can't forgive somebody for what they do. I mean, I've struggled with forgiving people and myself. I mean, I've probably been letting go. I mean, really and truly, genuinely, I pray about it for me can't stop. But, anyways, I'm going to stop the rant. Um, number nine, not eating and drinking enough. I'm a very picky eater, which is not good for my health. I'm supposed to eat. I mean, don't really like eating or drinking these days. Me drink, but me like drink foolishness. One not good for me. So I'm not really I eat nor drink. What good for me? What will help save me in the future? My rather be foolish. You get what I'm say? So I really need to learn to do better. So I have to cook that. There's someone I think I really need to stop to quit, do. I need to start eating more and drink more. And yeah, I really need to quit it. And then, finally, I need to stop keep toxic people in my life. Too toxic can work. You know, see a toxic. And you have another toxic people in their life. No man, they know people for keep far. Put them aside. They're not gonna talk deal with them. But they don't need to in of your life. The up front of your life. Side of me, side of me, back but no. Put keep them aside. Some people need I know everybody has to in on life. Some people need to go. Some people deserve I am by relationship. Some people really and truly deserve I am by relationship. They don't need to be in our own life. They don't deserve to be in my life. What me I do with another toxic somebody in my life? Me know me toxic. What me I do with it in my life? I kill you, I kill each other. You know, I have to be a partner. I can be, 
You don't have to be your partner. You can be your mother, your father, your relative, your cousin, your uncle, your dog, anybody. So certain things we need to let go of. Certain people need to come out of our lives so and we need to let go. We need to stop keep toxic people in our life. Yes, guys, we need to stop. So that are things that we need to stop doing. So those were the 10 toxic things that I need to quit doing. And there is self-improvement. So certain things, sometimes if you just sit down and analyze yourself, look into yourself, and we know some dirty bad habits we have, we need to drop it because God and go and see some of the face. We need to stop doing certain things. So, me analyze myself. Me analyze myself, me work for myself. So, I challenge you guys to do the same. Like, look into myself and just drop some bad habits. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you reached thus far, gang gang. Um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.